The sounds of the NHL have been quiet all summer long, but now the boys in orange and black are back, and it won't be long before they begin their pursuit of Lord Stanley's Cup. There are high expectations in Philadelphia as a talented young core returns and new faces are welcomed in. Fans gathered here at the Virtua Center Flyers Skate Zone early this morning for a chance to be part of this terrific event as Comcast Sportsnet and Virtua present Meet the Flyers 2009. Check it out. It is a packed house, more than 600 people ready to get this season started. It is Meet the Flyers 2009. Hi, everybody, and welcome in. I'm Greg Murphy. What a terrific venue we have alongside Keith Jones. And this group sounds like they're ready to go. Jonesy, I know you're ready to go, yeah, yes? Great to be back, and obviously the fans have fired up a great opportunity to meet some of the new Flyers, and a lot of their favorite Flyers will be up on stage with us as well. It doesn't take much to get these guys fired up, but just in case they need a little help, Steve Coates out there working the crowd. Coatsy, how are you? Thanks very much, Mark. We're going to be out here in the crowd. We're going to be talking to the fans. We're going to be asking some questions. And we're going to be talking to an awful lot of players. This is an exciting hour. And welcome to this year's Philadelphia Flyers hockey team. Back to you, Murph. All right, 60 minutes planned for you. You're going to get a chance to meet the players, the coaching staff, the front office as well. And Mr. Ed Snyder is also here, the chairman. Going to be a great 60 minutes, so let's get it started right now. Let's bring in two of the best centermen in the NHL. It's Jeff Carter and the captain, Mike Richter. Welcome nice. in, gentlemen. Welcome. Yeah, a little standing a ovation. Always <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> yeah, let him hear it. Well, gentlemen, I, I got to believe, as you look out at the orange and black, that uh, it, it's good to be back, Mike. Is it not good? Yeah, always nice to come back. Uh, I think everyone was getting antsy to start the training camp, and everyone's antsy to start games, too. So it's always nice to be back. It's nice to see all the fans. First uh, question for you, Mike, is obviously two sh uh, shoulder surgeries in the off season. How are you feeling? Good to be back out in the ice again? Yeah, it's nice. Um, I haven't really taken any hits or anything, so I haven't really tested it that way. But shooting feels good. Um, kind of in the defensive zone, pushing off people feels good. So hopefully uh, all goes well. Hey, Jeff, you know, you, you talk about a season last year for you, second in the NHL in goals scored. Uh, what, what are you going to do for an encore? That's what these folks want to know. They want to know what you're going to do. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it was a great year personally for myself last year, and uh, um, things just kind of went well for me. Uh, you know, I'm just looking to, to hopefully do it again. It's an Olympic year, and both you and Mike are, uh, have already been to Team Canada's camp this offseason. Um, how big is that to you? Obviously, both of you guys are terrific players, and I guess for you, Jeff, coming off a huge year, the highest scoring Canadian player in the National Hockey League, you looking forward to that as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, anytime you get to represent your country, it's, uh, it's a huge thrill. Um, you know, with it being in Canada as well, it just you know, makes it even more exciting. So it'll be, uh, it's a tough team to make with a lot of great players, but uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, get it done. You know, Mike, uh, representing Philadelphia in the National Hockey League is certainly something special because of the folks out here, because of the organization. For the second year, you'll wear the C on your sweater. Talk about the importance of what, of what you're able to do from a leadership role, because I know you're, you're the kind of guy that leads by example. Um, yeah. I mean, there's not much change, really. I think we have enough leaders on the team um, that you don't, ex don't actually have to do too much. And now with Chris being here... Um, it makes your job a lot more easier too because he's such a great leader. He's been there before, he's won before, so I think it just makes the job easier. Now both of you guys killed penalties and the Flyers were the highest scoring team while well shorthanded last year. That's a huge positive obviously, but mm -hmm. when you look at it, you guys were shorthanded an awful lot. Is that an area you want to be a little bit better at in the discipline? Uh, I, <laughs> I think so, yeah. I mean, obviously, we don't want to be in the box and killing penalties, um, but we don't want to lose that edge that we play with either. So I think we've got to kind of find the happy medium where we can play hard and not take the penalties. 
it's a difficult thing when, when you think about it, Jeff, uh, you know, finding that, that balance between the two because y you want to bring toughness, obviously, to the ice. You want to bring physicality to the ice, but you also want to stay out of that penalty box. How do you do it individually? How do you try to keep that balance? Well, I'm not the most physical guy. <laughs> well, <that's all> right. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it too much, but uh, there is a fine line. I mean, you, know, you want to play hard and you want to get in guys' faces, but you know, once the whistle goes, I think uh, you know, we kind of got to you know, get, a, get away from everything and kind of play between the whistles, and that'll, uh, that'll kind of crack down on a few. Mike, as you, as you look at some of the new faces that have uh, joined the, the team this year, um, you know, speak about Chris Pronger, about Ray Emery as well, a new goaltender this year. Yeah. As the captain, how do you start to integrate these guys? How are they fitting in already? Um, well, I just got here a couple days ago, too. <laughs> um, but I've known Chris for a little bit and spoke to him over the summer, and I spoke to Ray, too, over the summer. Both are, are very excited to be here, uh, part of the organization. And, I mean, Chris, his resume kind of speaks for himself. Yep. He's won. Um, he's been there a couple times before, and uh, just his presence on the blue line is, is going to be felt. And I know we're going to be a tough team to play against. And um, Ray's a competitive goaltender. You, you see him take the Ottawa to the, the finals, I guess, a couple of years ago now, and uh, a little bit of a bump in the road, but I think he's anxious to get started again, and I got full faith in him. You look at the last year's line for you, Jeff. You played with Scott Hartnell pretty much the whole year. This year will probably be a little bit different. Joffrey Lupo moving on, but uh, when you look at a player like Scotty Hartnell, how nice is it for you to know that he'll be back, and most likely you guys will be back playing together as well? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, it's nice when you get uh, a couple line mates that you get to keep playing with for a while. You, it makes, uh, makes things a lot easier. Um, you know, you build your chemistry and you just keep rolling. And, um, you know, we had a pretty good year together last year. And, uh, you know, whoever they, they throw with us this year, hopefully we can uh, just keep going. All right, guys, we're going to let you off the hot seat for just a couple minutes. But stay right where you are. We're going to send it out to Steve Coates, who's standing by with another flyer. Simone Gagne, let's give it up. Thank you very much, Bert. Can you imagine now... Number one pick way back in 1998. And would you have ever imagined you'd be here as long as you have as a Philadelphia Flyer? Uh, not really. You know, uh, like you just said, it's been almost uh, 11 years now since uh, I've been drafted. And uh, no, it's not a better place uh, I want to be. It's, it's the best place to play hockey. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be here for a long, longer time. Two years ago, you suffered a severe head injury. You're career was in question, but all of a sudden you came back, and you came back with an outstanding season. Is that all behind you now? Now you just can look forward to and not have to worry about that, uh, that, that injury? Yeah, you know, I turned the page. I think it's, it's in the past now, and uh, I'm fo focusing on the next season. Yeah, last year was a, you know, a, t a tough year for me coming back from that big injury, but uh, you know, confidence when, uh, uh, was a big part of it. Uh, the confidence was uh, getting better and better every game, and uh, you know, having that strong year last season, and you know, and, and looking forward to the, the next season, it's, uh, like I said, it's in the past now. Let's focus on the next one, and it uh, should be a fun one. When we talk about focusing on the next one, you're talking about a guy like yourself who knows how to score goals. You look at those two guys up on stage, you know about the talent on this hockey club. This team is a lot to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? It should be a good, fun year. Uh, if you look at our team now, uh, you know, from last year to uh, this year, we, we had some... Uh, uh, some some key guys, uh, Chris Pronger, Ray Emery, uh, Lanya, Lian Laperriere, and uh, uh, Brian Boucher. And now, if, if you look at it, it's uh, now I've been here now for 11 years. And I've been on Great Fires team. Jonesy was part of uh, the first one when we went to a uh, semifinal. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah. 11 years ago. <laughs> Big part. Yeah, yeah, but hold on. He didn't say he played on a line with you. <laughs> I wish I did. We did. I think maybe one shift, huh? <laughs> No, but I've been on, on great teams, but I think this one might be the, the, the best one I've been, been with. And it uh, looked very good on paper. Now we have uh, something to, to work on, but it uh, should be a fun year. I'm, I'm very excited about our team. Simone, thank you very much, and all the best this season. Simone Gagne, ladies and gentlemen. Back up to you, Murph. Simone Gagne, a brand new father as well. Congratulations to him for that. Uh, hey, guys, I know you're looking forward. You're looking ahead to 2009. That's why we're here. But how much do you think about how the season ended a year ago? In the postseason, again, good stuff. But obviously, you want to get to that next level. You want to get to that Stanley Cup Finals. Do you, do you think back at all, Jeff, about what went on? Yeah, you do a little bit. I mean, uh, you know, right when it ended, you obviously, you're, you're, you know, you go home and you're, you're sitting on the couch thinking about it, watching, uh, watching the playoffs go on. But, um, you know, there comes a point where you kind of have to, to put it behind you and move on. And, um, 
you know, think about the next season that's coming up and, uh, and all the good things that we're going to do. All right. Well, I know a couple of folks here in the crowd have some questions for you guys as well. So we send it back out to Steve Coates. What do you got, Steve? Thanks very much, Murph. I'm with a young lady named Morgan, and uh, you have a question. Go ahead. Um, this is for Mike. I want to know who your greatest influence is and why. Um, well, there's been a lot of people that helped me out, coaches, uh, friends. But I think my family has got to be the most important um, I mean, always took me to practices. My dad kind of taught me how to skate and taught me how to play. So I think he's the biggest influence on me is my, my parents, I guess, my mom and dad. Good stuff, indeed. All right, guys, now you're completely off the hook. We're going to say goodbye. Jeff and Mike, best of luck this season. Give them a big hand, guys. Go Flyers. Stay healthy, guys. We got plenty more still to come on Meet the Flyers. One of the new faces will be up on stage with us in just a couple minutes. Chris Pronger will be here. Hey, so will Danny Briere. He's coming up to talk to us. And Claude Giroux as well. But coming up next, coming up next, he is the heart and soul of the Flyers franchise, the chairman of the Philadelphia Flyers, Mr. Ed Snyder, joining us up on the stage when we come back. So stay where you are. Meet the Flyers is presented by Virtua, the official orthopedic provider of the Flyers. Welcome back inside the Virtua Center, Flyers Skate Zone. Can you believe it? It's right around the corner. The Philadelphia Flyers and the Carolina Hurricanes kicking things off on October 2nd at 7 o'clock. You can watch that game on the Comcast Network in high definition. Welcome back, everybody. Greg Murphy alongside Keith Jones, and we welcome in, as I said, as we headed to break, the heart and soul of the Philadelphia Flyers, the chairman, Mr. Ed Snyder. Nice to see you, and I'm sure nice for you to see all of this, nice huh? Nice It's great. You know, even in, in, in times when things are a little tough for people, the Flyers fans are always out in full force. And, and you look at this, and certainly as you look out in this crowd, it's got to feel like a family atmosphere to you. Well, it is a family. we got the greatest fans in the world, no question about it. How nice is it for you to, to come into this season in the National Hockey League and know that you played a real important role in getting the rules changed, getting the game to the point where you don't spend an offseason trying to remake it. The game is in a perfect place. I think the fans appreciate it. I think it's very good on TV. And I know you played a real important role from the National Hockey League standpoint in getting it to that point. How does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel good. I mean, I'm really proud that I'm the only owner on the competition committee. And I was very, very... Um, very, very determined to open up the game so we could see the skill of our players. Uh, a little bit of a problem in the first year, everybody getting used to it, but now everybody's used to it. I think it's, the game's greater than it's ever been in my mind. I know these folks think that as well. Talk a little bit about this year's squad because you have a great core coming back, the guys that have been very successful in this league. They are young, they are talented, and you've added in some veterans as well that should really help this team make that next step, which I know is your goal every year is to win, win, win. That we know about you. So are you excited about this team? I'm sure you are. I'm, I'm very excited. I think Paul Holmgren has done an outstanding job in filling in whatever pieces we needed. I think we're solid. I think we're solid throughout, you know, the... the whole roster you know so I'm I'm very excited about the team how, how important is it to you still that toughness is a big part of the National Hockey League and I know you guys have built a tough team this offseason the addition of Chris Pronger the addition of Ian LaPerriere um, it's nice that toughness still belongs in the NHL isn't it well it's a tough game it's a man's game and you have to be tough you have to be ready and you have to meet every challenge it's not easy Speaking of tough, I can't help but uh, notice the shirt that you're wearing, and uh, what an exciting event the Winter Classic should be this year with the Philadelphia Flyers involved in that. But I got to tell you, you got to be tough to be playing outdoors in January, right? This team, uh, it, it's going to be awesome at Fenway Park. You, you got to be tough to be playing outdoors, <laughs> and you got to be tough to be sitting outdoors. That's true. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure you'll be out there uh, sitting out amongst the toughness yeah. as well as you watch these guys. That yeah. is going to be a lot of fun. I know Coatsy is out there in the crowd, and he's got some questions from some of the fans for Mr. Snyder. What do you have, Coatsy? Well, Mr. Snyder already said we already got the best fans, so I've got one of them here. And, Phil, you've got a question for Mr. Snyder. Yeah, I do. Mr. Snyder, uh, first of all, you complimented all the fans for uh, being so great, but 
right back at you. You've been probably one of the best owners in the city for 40 something years, so Thank hats you. off to you. Thank you. Uh, so as a follow-up to that, I, I guess what drives your passion? You're, you seem to always want the best in, uh, for the team, and also uh, failure is not an option. So I just got to ask, I, I need some motivation as I get up in my years. What, what drives you? Well, I hope that you have the same passion as you get up in your years. And uh, if I ever lost that passion, I, would, I wouldn't be around. I, I, every year is a new year. Every season is a new season that's full of hope. And, and uh, I just think that the Flyers are a great organization. I love everybody in it. I love our fans. And that just drives me every year to just do the best we can. Based off of that, uh, there is no doubt about it. No one would ever question the desire of this organization to win each and every year. What did you learn? What did this organization learn last season in the run into the playoffs? Well, we were very disappointed in how the season ended, and we felt that there were certain things that we had to improve on, and Paul went out and did it. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's Make that the improvements and, and, and keep working towards that ultimate goal, that Stanley well, Cup, because I know you know what it's like to win it and you want to win it again. Yeah, no well, doubt. we believe the future. Right now. That's what these folks want to know. That's what they, that's what they want to hear. You, you, can't dis you can't disguise it. You are excited about this season. Is, is this the best time of the year for you as you get, get ready for another NHL season? Well, it, it's an exciting time as you get ready. It's very exciting. But, of course, the best time is when we get in the playoffs and we keep going and going when we win that cup. And that's what's going to happen in 2009, right, folks? A big hand for the chairman of the Philadelphia Flyers, Mr. Ed Snyder. Thanks so much for being here. We love having you here live up on stage. My Thanks pleasure. for talking with us. All right, Mr. Ed Snyder, the chairman of Thanks the Philadelphia God. Flyers. Still to come, Mr. Snyder talked about toughness. We've got toughness coming up. Scott Hartnell will be here. Dan Carcillo is going to join us as well. And we've got some more muscle. Riley Cote in the house when we come back. But up next, the men between the pipes, the guys stopping the puck. It's so important in the NHL. Ray Emery and Brian Boucher coming up on stage. Give it up. We're coming right back. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, who needs tickets? You need some tickets? Hey, call 1-800-298-4800 or log on to PhiladelphiaFlyers.com. All the ticket information you need so you can watch these guys live and in person at the Wachovia Center. Welcome back inside. Greg Murphy alongside Keith Jones. Steve Coates is out there in the crowd as well. 600 strong as we welcome in and welcome back the goaltenders for the Philadelphia Flyers, Ray Emery and Brian Boucher. Welcome to you, Ray. Welcome back, Brian. Good to see you again. Ray, let me start with you. This is uniquely Philadelphia. This is what Flyers fans bring all the time, your first taste of it. What do you think as you look out here at the orange and black? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, I, thought I, I thought I had seen it all uh, playing in Canada. Uh, hockey's a major sport, but uh, this is above and beyond what I saw in Ottawa. So it's, ex it's exciting to be a part of that. And uh, for Boucher, uh, Three times now back with the Philadelphia <laughs> Flyers. Obviously, it was a great experience in 2000. You were terrific here. The fans still love you. You hear the boost chants as you walk up here. How does it feel to be back again? It, uh, it, it feels great. I mean, uh, Philly is always th the place that I had the most memories at, and uh, my, my wife loves it here. You know, my kids lived here two years ago. They, they've made some friends, so it was like coming back home for them, and uh, it's been a comfortable uh, transition so far. We're really happy. You know, Go ahead, Greg. Brian, you, uh, you look out here, you know all about the passion of the Philadelphia fans. What have you talked to Ray about uh, as you guys get set for this season? Have you guys had conversations about what it's like uh, playing in front of these Philadelphia fans when they're on your side? Because they weren't before, Ray, but when they're on your side? <laughs> yeah, we haven't had that discussion yet, but uh, I don't think he needs me to say anything. I think this, uh, you know, just to go on the practice rink and see, you know, the stands packed today uh, just for the first day of camp is pretty amazing. Uh, like Ray said, you expect to see that in places in Canada, you know, not in the States. This is a, it's a great sports town, but it's a great hockey town too. And, uh, you know, Ray, 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 will, uh, Ray will see what it's like here very shortly. And, and the good thing for the fans is both of you guys have had a lot of experience come playoff time. Ray taking the Ottawa Senators to Stanley Cup final just a couple of years ago. Um, how, what was that experience like, and do you look forward to trying to make another run here with the Flyers? Yeah, that was, that was a great experience for myself and my team. Uh, 
uh, lost to one of my teammates right now. So, uh, you know, Prongs maybe had a better experience that year. But, uh, but no, I'm excited to be here. We, we have a great team. We have a, a, a team that, that uh, is maybe better than that team I was on. So, uh, 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 it's just a great situation for myself and Brian. And that says a lot because if you think about the defense that you had in Ottawa at that time, you had a really good core of six guys in front of you, Wade Redden leading the way. Here in Philly now, you've got a very similar situation, maybe even a better defense like you spoke of. Talk about having a guy like Chris Pronger, Kimo Tiemann, and Braden Coburn playing in front of you. Yeah, it, all the guys you mentioned there um, are top defensemen in the league, not, not just on our team. Um, so anytime you have three guys like that that are playing big minutes for you, it makes life a lot easier for, uh, for the skilled players up front to, to do their thing and, and uh, for the goaltenders as well. Brian, when you, when you join a new team, or in your case, you rejoin uh, the Philadelphia Flyers, uh, it's got to be great to know that you're joining an organization that, you know, year in and year out has a chance, has a chance at that Stanley Cup. It's never just an also-ran team. It's a team that's, that's really going after it. Right. I mean, you know, that's one of the exciting things as a player. I mean, you know, there's certain years where you don't have a chance to win, and as players, you're realistic and you know that stuff. But... Um, when you come here and you see the team that's assembled here, you know this team has a chance, and uh, as a player, that gets you excited. So, you know, we have, we have a good chance here. Hopefully, um, we stay healthy, and it's, it's a long way till, till June, but hopefully we can, we can do the right things to get there. The murmur you just heard was uh, as we watched the video of one of the greatest saves in Flyers history. You ever get tired of watching that save? It's, uh, goalie, goalie coaches probably... Goalie coaches probably cringe watching that because it technically it couldn't be any worse. But uh, no, I loved your technique. I thought it was great. Thought, <laughs> hey, you got to stop the puck, you know. Yeah, that's all. That's yeah. all that matters. Uh, you, you know, Ray, as you look at that and you, and you hear the you hear the excitement. Uh, I know what fans. One thing that the fans uh, are curious about you is you always have the designs on the mask. Uh, you're a big boxing fan. Why don't you tell the folks what the mask is going to look like to celebrate Philadelphia this time around? Um, yeah, well, I, I'm sure if these guys were watching a bit of practice today, I got a couple uh, Philly boxers on there. Uh, Joe Frazier, who's actually maybe popping into the rink tomorrow. I'm excited to get a chance to meet him. Um, and Bernard Hopkins, the executioner on there. And a uh, little, little... You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Some champions in Philadelphia, those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, uh, sit right there. We're going to go back out to Steve Coates, who's in the crowd. Who do you got, Steve? Well, I'll tell you what. We heard the goalies talk about the defense. Well, now I got 50% of the defense here. Kimo Tiemann and Ole Tollefson and Braden Coburn. And absolutely, absolutely. First of all, let me talk to you. Kimo, last year, Barry Ashby winner is the best defenseman in this hockey club. Now, all of a sudden, everybody in the league is saying this is the best defense in the National Hockey. Your response to that? Well, we got, we got really good defense this year and, and uh, you know, Tolly coming here and Pronger coming here, so um, it's going to be a good battle for our spots, and you know that keeps us kind of fresh. So um, I think we're looking forward to the season, and we're ready to go. You know, when you talk about, you bring up Chris Pronger and a guy like you that obviously you watched him growing up, and then all of a sudden now you're going to be playing on the same team. Is what is it like for you, Kobe? Well, as soon as I heard he got traded here, I was pretty excited. Obviously, he's a guy that I've looked up to. Uh, for a long time, ever since I, uh, you know, ever since he came in the league, I've been a fan of his, and uh, to get a chance to play with a guy like that and learn from him and learn from guys like Kimo, it's a great opportunity for me. Now you're the new kid on the block coming over from Columbus, and obviously I don't think they probably had things like this in Columbus, but coming to the city of Philadelphia, <laughs> no, no offense to Columbus, I mean really, <laughs> but what's it like for you to come here? It's great. I always uh, look forward to playing for a really big team, and this is uh, for sure one of the better teams in the league when it comes to crowd and everything. So I'm really excited to be here. Thank you very much. And, you know, when we talk about this team, Kimo, we talk about this team. You make changes every year. That's just the way it happens. But going into training camp and seeing and looking around the room, because that's what you really know. When you look around the room and you see the guys that are around you, does this team rank right up there as, as good as you've seen? Uh, I think so. I, I... You know, expectation is going to be high, and you know we, we're ready to take that expectation. And, and um, you know, we're shooting for Stanley Cup, and that's our our goal. You know, for you, Kobe, one more thing. I mean, coming here from Atlanta, number one pick, and given the opportunity to play, you've certainly taken advantage of it. What's different about you now, as compared to when you were first traded here from Atlanta? Well, I think uh, when you have you know experience, and you get to play a lot. Uh, it counts for a lot, and you know I got to play with some great players. Uh, 
when I first got traded, I got to play with Hatch and getting to play with Chemo and, and really kind of learning, uh, learning the systems and learning a little bit more about positioning stuff. That's really helped me along. Jonesy, do you have any questions or do you want to keep talking to Boosh? Because Boosh, he'll take over the show. Well, you saw in Boosh's highlight, I was the guy that missed my man, so he owes me for that great save that he had there. I'm glad you came, right? I came, I'm glad you came truthful with that. Oh, yeah, well, you got to. I, I guess my question would be, how much are you guys looking forward to seeing who your playing partners are going to be this year? Because there is a lot of options on the blue line. You can ask that to Kimo. Well, I know I have to play this guy. There you go, yeah. see? Got to carry There's, Brady there's no choices. No. <laughs> that was simple. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Back up to you, Merv. Thanks very All much. Right, thank, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice, uh, Ray, you take a look at those guys. Uh, there's, there's some big guys out there. Nice to have them in front of you, I would imagine, huh? Sorry? <laughs> nice to have guys like that in front of you when you're uh, in between uh, those fights. Definitely, yeah. You, uh, you know, you're getting a chance to see him among the crowd there. I'm sure some of the people don't realize how big Kobe is. And yeah. a guy like that, he can, he can move and stuff too, but he's a huge dude. So, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, he is and, a huge dude. And, and, and Prongs as well. Those guys, you know, it's amazing how, how good they are on their feet. But those are, they're, they're big people, man. And it's, it's good having them in front of your net. The bigger the better, I always say, if, especially if, if, if I'm in net. That's what I would say. All right, Coatsy, back at the, you got a question? I got Anna has got a question for uh, Ray Emery. Um, yeah. You can ask Boosh if you'd like, too. Um, <laughs> first of all, Boosh, great to have you back. Um, Thanks. <laughs> no. I told her to say that. <laughs> Thanks, Coatsy. <laughs> he tells me all what to say. Um, no, uh, I know Philly's a huge sports town. You know, we live, we breathe, we die by our teams. Um, what's it like to come play in that sort of atmosphere? Because I know we could be kind of scary. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's exciting when they're on your side. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, 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 <laughs> Great answer. I, I've, I've, I've been in, uh, in the Wachovia Center over there a few times when they weren't on my side, and it wasn't too much fun, so I'm looking forward to it. Nice to know that you have 600 and so people behind your back. They've got your back if you get in any trouble. They're right, they're right there to, to help you out, right? It is such a great sports town and, and, and such a great organization. Certainly, I, I got to wonder, as you, it's just a couple weeks away. Are you, how excited do you guys get at this point, or, or do you, do you kind of have to wait till the games get started before you really get your stuff, right? I'll ask you. Um, yeah, I mean, you're, you're excited, you're pumped up, but at the same time, you know, you're you, uh, you make, take advantage of every day you have in there. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, even though we're in great shape right now and, and ready to go, um, you know, you still got to tweak your game and you got to take every uh, exhibition game seriously, every practice seriously to make sure that you're ready when the, when the puck drops at the start of the year. All right, guys, Ray Emery, welcome to Philadelphia. Brian Boucher, welcome back to Philadelphia. Great to have both of you. Best of luck this season as well. All right, plenty more still to come here as we continue to meet the Flyers. We talked about defense. How about some goal scorers? We want some goal scorers. Danny Briere will be in the house. And the youngster, Claude Giroux, coming as well. What a season he had a year ago. We'll talk to Danny. We will talk to Claude in just a few minutes. But up next, we're going to bring in the brass, the bosses, Peter Luco, Paul Holmgren, and John Stevens, the coach, joining us next here on Meet the Flyers. Stay where you are. Ticket information, 1-800-298-4800. If you need Philadelphia Flyers tickets or log on to the website, philadelphiaflyers.com. Welcome back inside the Virtual Center of the Flyers Skate Zone. Greg Murphy alongside Keith Jones, Steve Coetzee out in the crowd. And now we welcome in the president and COO of Comcast Spectacore, Peter Luco is here, and the general manager of the Philadelphia Flyers, Paul Holmgren, is here as well. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta love it. It's awesome. You gotta love it. Best fans in the world. I can't get enough of it. Peter, let me start with you because uh, we talked to Mr. Schneider about it a little bit, but the Winter Classic uh, in the middle of this season, uh, on the first day of the year, it is going to be such an awesome event for this city and for this organization. And I know you guys are excited about it, and this week he unveiled the jerseys, and I know people were excited about that. Yeah, it's, it's such an honor for us, and, and I think what's important is you know that sometimes teams are chosen based on star players or what have you but we were really based as a team they wanted to see the philadelphia flyers the uh 
most intimidating fans in all the sports. And, <laughs> and, and I, I just think it, you know, for, for 40 plus years, it's been all about a team sport. And, you know, Ed Snyder has been the face of the franchise its whole existence. And I think it's a, a real honor for us. Yeah, but no better representation in the NHL than on, on January 1st. Let's take a look okay. at what the guys are going to be wearing because this was unveiled this week. And uh, we go. look at that. I mean, it's, it's cool. Tell us a little about it because it's special. What? This. If, if you look at it, it's, it's really a bit of a shirt of our history. It's, it's retro, but it's little pieces from various parts of, of our history. And obviously the Flyer White is back, which, which has been missing, and, and the Winter Classic patch, of course. But what's really neat, if you look at the back, there's the stitch, the stitch on yeah. name of the player, which was always a staple of ours. And I remember Homer playing and, and having that look. And I think it's really a, a, a neat shirt. It's our history. And it takes us back a bit and, and gets us ready for that Winter Classic. You know, Homer, it's such an awesome event. And uh, I would imagine uh, when you played, you would have loved to have been a part of this as a player. But certainly you're going to be part of it as an organization as we take a look at Fenway Park, such a special venue in America's sports history anyway. And to be playing a hockey game there right in the middle of the infield, that's pretty cool. In the shadows of the Green Monster, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's going to be exciting for all of us. And you know, it's uh, it's it's kind of it seems kind of crazy to be talking about all the time now because we got a long way to go, leading up to that day. But it's it's certainly exciting, and we're all looking forward to it. What did you think of? Uh, obviously, the off season was a busy time, and you had some great additions. But how surprised were you that Chris Pronger was available, and you were able to go out and get him? Um, I think we kind of knew going in, actually into the trading deadline that he was if he if he wasn't moved at that point in time, he would be moved in the summertime and. You know, last year, going back to the trading deadline, we didn't have the, uh, uh, the cap space really to do anything of that magnitude. And, and uh, in the summertime, obviously, it was a different ball game. And when we spoke uh, back last uh, March, that's kind of what we talked about. If it's if this is still uh, an option in, in uh, June or around the draft, we would certainly have interest. And nice to have a guy coming in here that, uh, you know, brings even more toughness to a team that, that was tough. But, uh, you know, you just elevate the level when you bring in a guy like Chris Pryor. Yeah, I think a lot's lost. Uh, everybody talks about Chris and his toughness and stuff like that. But he's a, he's a good player, and he makes everybody, everybody around him better, not only with his, his presence, uh, but with his play. And uh, I think the fans are going to really enjoy watching him play. Peter, you know... I know they are, because every time we mention his name, they scream like that. So, so that's a good thing. Uh, you know, Peter, I, I said this to Mr. Schneider, and I'll ask you as well. It, it's just, it's awesome to be part of an organization that is just so committed to that final goal, to win as much as you can every season. There's never really a rebuilding time, or at least there's never meant to be a rebuilding time. Every year, the future is now, as Mr. Schneider put Yeah, I, you know, well, it all starts with that. You know, it's been 40 years plus of of Ed's commitment to winning. And I think, you know, I started in the organization in 1985. Paul, Paul's been a player and Bob Clark and others. And it's, it's really ingrained in all of us that at the end of the day, you don't play to play the games. You play to win the games and you play to win the ultimate prize. And uh, in sports today, that doesn't always happen. And, and it's really a, it's a jewel for us and it's, it's a jewel for all the fans that, that we're here to win. Any coincidence that your team that you've built this offseason is very similar to the two that met in the Stanley Cup Finals last year, Detroit and Pittsburgh, strong in the middle with Richards and Carter and Giroux, and now the defense, uh, very comparable, if not better, than the two sets of defense that we watched in the Finals? Well, I don't know if that's by design or not, but it's certainly something that we've been building for the last couple of years. We, uh, we uh, Two years ago or three years ago, when we were the worst team in the league, our, we, we talked. We, we needed to rebuild our defense, and we've kind of slowly, over the course of the last three years, made our defense better. And uh, you know, we, we had the luxury coming off that year, that bad year, um, where we had Jeff and Mike, were just young players that actually played and took part in that year, and uh, we were kind of counting on them as being key components for the long haul here. And um, so it, it, I guess it's transpired that way, but we, we like our team now. We think we're a very competitive team with skill and, and uh, a team that's going to be very hard to play against at both ends. Gentlemen, just hang right there. We're going to come back to you two in just a minute, but Steve Coates, he has a special guest. Why don't we hear from the head coach, Mr. John Stevens. Mr. Steve Coates.
Thanks very much, Murph. And I guess the first question you got to ask is, you're the one standing behind the bench, and now you got a guy like Chris Pronger out there. What's that mean to you? Well, I, I think Chris brings so many things to our team. I got an opportunity to meet him when I was back in my Hartford days when he came in as a young kid, and I think you knew right away uh, he was going to be a great player. And as Homer mentioned, uh, he's known for the attitude he plays with, but he's a great player at both ends of the rink. He can play in all situations, and he brings a, an element of uh, established leadership to our team. Uh, I, I think he's an ideal fit. You know, when you, you go back into your history as a player, you were with the Hartford Whalers. He started as a number one pick of the Hartford Whalers. You knew each other. Is that going to help your relationship right off the, the bat? Yeah, I think it's helpful when you know a player. I think you have to develop a relationship and get to know each other, and a certain element of trust comes into play with a coach and a player. And uh, I've known Chris for a long time and enjoyed watching his career develop and see the success he's had. So we're thrilled to death that he's here, and I think having that relationship in place is going to be helpful. Now, as a former defenseman, we talk about Pronger. How about the rest of the defense? Looks awfully good right now. You know what? We liked our defense last year. We thought our group uh, of defensemen uh, as a whole played better and better throughout the year. And I think it's uh, forgotten sometimes how young that group was and, and how well they played as a young group. And we've seen the impact Tiemannan's had with his experience. And now you had a guy like Pronger to that group uh, that can play in so many situations, has experience and size to a group that we were already very happy with. So we certainly like our defense uh, heading into this season. When you take a look at this hockey team, you, along with this team, have been together uh, for a, a long time now. So you've matured together. Where do you feel this team, along with you, are as far as your, your, your future this year is concerned? Well, our expectations are high this year, and I think they are outside of our locker room, but I think inside, you know, we, we want to take another step. We've been a good team for two years. Uh, and, and now we want to try and be the best team and we want to go after it and go deep into the playoffs and, and we think that we have a group of players that have the experience now. Uh, they're going to be very competitive this year and, and be a strong group heading into the playoffs. In this training camp, does it help to have some competitiveness because there are people or players that are available to be able to fill those spots? I think so and there are some question marks that we have to fill in our team but I don't ever remember having so many players trying out for a couple spots. I mean Homer's done a great job of creating depth with NHL players that have experience that are trying out for our team and some young kids that look like they're getting very, very close to be ready to play in the National Hockey League. So training camp will be extremely competitive this year. John, thanks. Congratulations on last year and, and look forward to this year. Nice round of applause, please, for John Stevens. Best luck. Thank you very much. Back up to you, Murph. All right, giving it up for the head coach, John Stevens. Thank you very much. Uh, Keith, I know you have a question for I'm just thinking goaltending is obviously a lot different looking than it was last year. Marty Buran is gone. Nedimaki has gone. Uh, Ray Emery and Brian Boucher back again with the Flyers. Uh, what was the process in getting Ray Emery to, uh, to sign with you? Well, the process uh, actually started last year at this time when we had an issue with, uh, with Nitty. Um, I placed a call to uh, Ray's agent to see if there's any way he could get out of his deal and, and that he was in in Russia and he couldn't at that point in time and then it just kind of evolved over time and uh, we've always liked Ray as a goaltender and uh, uh, I, think he, I think he was tremendous coming up through Ottawa's system and took them to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2007 and uh, obviously had some issues that uh, uh, led to his demise and, and his, his year in Russia. But, we still like him. I think he's a good, good kid. I think he's a tremendous competitor, uh, and I think he's got a real chip on his shoulder and wants wants to prove a lot of people wrong. So that's a lot of good things I think in our favor. And and Brian Boucher, I think is, we we all know Boucher. He was here before. He's uh, I think in in the, in the role that I see both those guys in, I think it's going to be an ideal combination. All right, before we let you go, guys, Peter, one more time. Why don't you show the folks, say, there's so much orange and black out there, but I know people are going to be wanting this real soon. The Winter Classic jersey. What a year it's going to be. Peter Luco, thank you very much. Paul Holmgren, thank you very much. Right. Best of luck this season. Still more to come as we continue to meet the Flyers. I'm going to say the name. Chris Pronger will be here. Right on cue, good stuff. But coming up next, Danny Briere and Claude Giroux coming up on stage to talk to us. Stay with us here on Meet the Flyer. Hey, welcome back to Meet the Flyers. I'm Steve Coates along with Keith Jones and Craig Murphy up on stage. And I got a couple of tough guys with me, and I wasn't going to take any chances with me. Riley Cote and Daniel Carcillo. Now, you know, last year, you know, you, 
you had, to, you had to fight a heck of an awful lot, but all of a sudden you got a little help from this guy. So that's obviously going to be a help to you, right? Yeah, it's always a help when you can have a couple guys uh, to take the workload off. Uh, you got, you know, Carbomb here, uh, Ash, um, he's kind of Ian LaPierre here now, and uh, we, got, we got a tough team. So it's always, uh, it's always a help when you got extra guys. One thing about you is that you know what your job description is. I mean, you don't get yourself out of hand. You know when to go and when not to go. Where did you learn that? Uh, I guess I, when, I, when I turned pro, I just kind of figured it out. Uh, I'm not, you know, not here to score goals by any means. I uh, you know, trip the puck in the corner and run people over and, uh, and, and fight. And fight. So, I mean, I know where I stand, and uh, it's, it's a great job. And you wonder why I'm wearing this helmet. Daniel Carcillo came over last year from Phoenix, and you're a guy that plays Flyers-type hockey. What was it like for you to all of a sudden have the opportunity to wear that logo? Um, it's quite an honor, really. Uh, I grew up watching the Flyers, and uh, growing up in Toronto, you'd think I'd be a Leafs fan, but uh, I was definitely a huge Flyers fan, and um, just the way they played, and, you know, I kind of, you know, play, uh, play the same way, just aggressive and, and hitting and, and fighting. Sounds great. What do you guys do, like, I mean, uh, like, to, to warm up and things like that, to get ready? Uh, lube up, lube up the resties. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I'm glad I asked that question. Back up to you guys. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Better you, Coatsy, than us up here, no doubt about it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Steve Coates. We welcome in Claude Giroux and Danny Briere up on stage as well. Yeah, give it up. Give it up. Always a lot of fun this time of the year, Danny, I would imagine, as you get started. And, and, and for you, I would imagine this season couldn't come soon enough. You've got to be Jones when you get back. It feels like I've been on uh, on a vacation for yeah. over a year now, so um, I'm excited. I, you know, the new addition that we got this summer, and and just feeling healthy again. I'm I'm very excited about training camp. I guess for Claude, what, what do you take out of last year? You had a tremendous second half of the season. You were very good in the playoffs. Uh, high expectations from the fans, and obviously from yourself and from management as well. But uh, how do you approach this season? Yeah, well, I got a chance to prove myself last year uh, after Christmas, and. Uh, being able to play with good players and uh, just uh, trying to get better, and I just uh, learned so much last year, and I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty excited for for this year. We're taking a look at some of the uh, the highlights from Uclaw from last year, and uh, certainly there were many of them in, in that terrific rookie season of yours. How do you build on that? I mean, what are your goals as you set forth in this season for 2009? It, it's a tough act to follow. Well, I'm just gonna should go out there, try to work hard, and uh, just trying to get better and. A lot of leaders on this team, so just uh, trying to uh, see what, what they're doing and uh, just try to follow up. Uh, for Danny, you're a tremendous offensive player. Last year, obviously, was not a great year because of injury. Uh, how do you look forward to this year? You know there's a couple players that aren't here now. Mike Knubel's moved on, Joffrey Lupel. Uh, you're obviously one of the guys that can really pick up that offensive ice time and do a lot of damage with it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a great um, uh, chance for, for me, guys like me and Claude, uh, maybe to play a little bit more. Um, I think the, the organization has shown a lot of confidence in us, uh, maybe filling up those, uh, those spots. Um, I know I'm excited. I can't wait. I know I, it's going to go well. Um, you know, and having the chance, like Claude said, there, there's so many good offensive players on, on this team. Uh, whoever you, you play with doesn't really matter. And Danny, when you, when you joined this team uh, a couple of years back, uh, you obviously part of the reason you come to Philadelphia is to win and win a Stanley Cup. The organization is dedicated to that. You talked about the new additions. You mentioned the new additions to this team, new faces, new blood. Talk a little bit about what that means uh, inside the room for you guys. Well, there's no doubt that we have a team that can go a long way, and the goal, you know, is, is the Stanley Cup for us. Now, the important part from now to the Stanley Cup till we get there is how we're going to come together as a group. Uh, that's the. the the, the big thing we need to work on uh, throughout the year, but we know we have all the tools to, uh, to get there. A lot of people think of goal scorers and coming from the forwards all the time, but how important is you've got great puck-moving defensemen to back you up, and as long as you're available for an outlet pass, you know what's going to be on your tape when you've got the likes of Chris Pronger sending that puck to you, Cloak. Yeah, well, we have a lot of good offensive uh, defensemen that can uh, move up the puck and uh, just join the, the play, so uh, obviously it's going to help uh, help us uh, just do, do more plays. They're always in the uh, open area, so it's, uh, it's pretty good for us. All right, guys, hang out right there for just a couple minutes. Back out to Steve Coates, and uh, he's got a familiar face. I know that guy. I know him. Thanks very much, Murph. You know why they cheer like that? Because this guy plays Flyers hockey. Corners, front of the net, scores goals, and drop the gloves when you need to be. This has been a great move coming over from Nashville for the Philadelphia to the Flyers because this is your style of hockey.
Oh, it's been a great uh, move for me personally. Uh, I absolutely love it here. The city's awesome. Uh, uh, just to listen to these fans. They're absolutely crazy. And uh, we've got a great team here, and we're just looking forward to this season. And uh, just the intensity out there today was, uh, was just phenomenal. You know, we talk about your ability as a great hockey player, but let's talk a little bit about your ability. I see that you won the... The, the poker tournament out in Vegas this year during the National Hockey League Players Association. I mean, I, I think you might be a, a bit of a ringer on the plane this year. Yeah, the guys, I uh, don't know what's going to hit them this, uh, this, this year on the plane trips. <laughs> uh, but we, uh, we have a lot of fun. That was a, a great deal. Uh, everything went to charity. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully I can surprise the, the boys this year and take some, uh, take some cash off them. So. <laughs> well, I know, Scotty, you're looking forward. This is a good hockey club, and I know you're looking forward to it. Thanks, Coates. And uh, I'm, I'm going to punch you right now, but I'm not going to use the gloves. So. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. It's just part of the job, Scotty. Thanks. Back up to you, Murph. Punch away, Scott. Punch away. We'll take it from here. Danny and, and Claude, uh, it, it's all getting started real soon. It won't be long before you guys are back on television playing games again. I know that's exactly where you want to be, Danny. Exactly. I can't wait. And thanks again to the fans for showing up today. It's a great first day. Danny Briere and Claude Giroux. And as I said, it won't be long. Yeah, October 2nd, 7 o'clock, Philadelphia Flyers, Carolina Hurricanes on the Comcast Network. Watch it in high definition. We're coming right back. Welcome back inside the Virtuous Center Flyers Skate Zone. A packed house on hand. And Meet the Flyers is presented by Virtua, the official orthopedic provider of the Philadelphia Flyers. Welcome back inside. I'm Greg Murphy alongside Keith Jones. Steve Coates is out there. And we've been teasing it all day long, but let's hear it now for two new members of the Philadelphia Flyers. Chris Pronger is here and Ian LaPerriere is here. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Stanley Cup. What's up, buddy? Welcome, Chris. How you doing? Welcome. How you buddy? Good. How nice you doing? Nice to see you. Is this the hot seat? Yeah. That's we it, promised. Buddy. We promised that here he is. Hey, Chris, want to see something neat? Watch this. Sure. I say Chris Pronger. This crowd does this every time. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I can just turn them on just like that. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Obviously, they are excited that you are here. We're excited that you're here as well. Uh, what's it been like? You've been in town for a couple months now. What's it been like? It's been great. Uh, the adjustment's been pretty easy. Uh, weather's been a little warmer than I thought, but uh, <laughs> it's, been, it's been great. Uh, kids are having a good time. We're all settled in the house, so it's good. It'll get cold soon enough, no doubt about it. But it'll Parking be heating up inside the Wachovia Center when you guys get started. And, and I know you have to be excited uh, to, to get with the new team, a new team that's got some pretty high expectations. And you've been there before, but uh, certainly bringing it to Philadelphia would be special. Absolutely. You know, I think we as players set high expectations for ourselves. And, uh, um, you know, there's always pressure from media, fans, and whatnot, but nobody uh, pushes ourselves more than we do in the locker room. Uh, we expect a lot from ourselves and, and our teammates. And, uh, and uh, you know, I think as you push your, each, each other and, and your teammate, they'll, they'll respond uh, likewise. How quickly does it take you to get uh, acclimated with a new team? It's, you were with Edmonton a couple of years back, then Anaheim went to the finals with Edmonton, won the Stanley Cup with Anaheim, and had another great run last year. Uh, how quickly does it happen? Does it already feel like you've kind of settled in? Yeah, uh, you know, I've been skating with uh, the guys that have been in town for probably a month, so uh, probably a good 10, 12 of them I've already skated with, got used to, you know, passing the puck with and kind of little things like that. But uh, throughout the course of training camp, probably the first four or five preseason games, get to feel uh, where guys like the puck, where the goalies leave the puck, where rebounds sit, and, uh, and all, little things like that, understand the systems. It's, uh, it's not as simple, but it, it's, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I know most of the fans here, certainly probably all of the fans here, know all about your game. Uh, but maybe for the fans at home who, who don't know uh, everything there is to know about Chris Pronger, I fell into the trap earlier today when I was talking with Paul Holmgren, talking about your toughness, and certainly that is there, but, uh, but the skill set is there as well. Tell folks a little bit about uh, what you bring to the table. Talk about me? Yeah, talk about <laughs> you. That's why we're here. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm a Libra. And, uh, <laughs> you, you getting this, guys? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I make a good first pass, uh, clear the front of the net, 
physical in the corners and in front and uh, try to make. Oh. <laughs> I guess that'll happen soon enough. <laughs> yeah, soon enough indeed. You've got a chance. I guess Ray Emery is going to be your, your number one goaltender. You had an opportunity to play against him in the Stanley Cup Finals uh, when you guys beat him with Anaheim. What's your thoughts on uh, his abilities to, to stop the puck? He played very well in that series. Uh, there was a lot of one-goal games, you know, late, late goals to win games, and uh, he did a great job for them, keeping them in every single game. And, and uh, at the end of it, uh, we just found a way to win. You know, it certainly wasn't, uh, wasn't his fault. He played excellent. All right, Chris, stay right there. We've got another new member, of course, of the Philadelphia Flyers. He is with Steve Coates right now, Ian LaPerriere. Thank you very much, Murph. And uh, Ian, I just think after watching you, because you're a Western Conference guy, you get Los Angeles, Kings, Colorado, and all of a sudden you're here in the Eastern Conference. Fans really haven't had an opportunity to see you. I've seen you, and I think it's ironic that you are a Flyer type player. What's it like for you? Because you do play that logo type of hockey. Well, I'm sure it's gonna fit. I'm gonna fit in uh, perfectly, I guess. You know, like you said, I'm a physical player. I play flyer style hockey, and uh, people love that kind of player. And uh, you know, I'm gonna do uh, what I've been doing for the past 15 years. Now, you were talking about growing up in Canada. What was, what, what was your favorite team? Was it the Philadelphia Flyers or was it the Montreal Canadiens? I gotta go with the Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> Yeah, but hold on, hold on, whoa, hold on. then, now it's the Flyers. Back then, we're talking when I was four or five years old. But it's a long time ago. Long so you were four and five, you were watching Chris Pronger play. I know, no, no, no. I'm older than him. That's a scary thing. Well, I wish you all the best of luck. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank Back you. up to you, Murph. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Ian. You know, Chris, isn't it cool that... Uh, you know, we've heard it a couple times on the program that there's a Flyers style of hockey. I would imagine it's not like a Hurricane style of hockey, but there's a Flyers style of hockey that everybody knows about. Yeah, I think that's the exciting thing about coming here is that tradition, that uh, brand of hockey that uh, Philadelphia fans have been used to, the Broad Street Bullies of the 70s, and, and that's kind of carried on throughout, uh, you know, the years, and, and uh, pl all the players that play here speak about it and, and uh, love the, the, en the enthusiasm and tenacity of the crowd. And, the players kind of emulate that, and, and uh, it's fun to watch. Speaking of enthusiasm and tenacity of the crowd, one of our crowd members has a question for you, and he looks enthusiastic oh boy. and tenacious, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thomas, you've got a question. Go ahead. Chris, who was your favorite player growing up? Oh, boy. Um, well, when I was uh, four or five, I was a big Mike Bossy fan. <laughs> 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 Didn't get a lot of Flyers games back home in northwestern Ontario, so I couldn't really be a fan, but uh, I'm sure Bobby Clark would have been one of my favorites. There you go. I think you probably shared I thought you were going to say Jonesy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, Chris, it all gets started real soon, and, and I got to imagine, you know, practice is great, getting with the guys is great, but playing these games for real in front of a crowd like this is going to be a lot of fun for you. Absolutely. That's what we play the game for is, uh, you know, obviously to win, but, uh, but to entertain the fans and make sure that uh, they're coming out of the arena with a smile on their face and, and happy to see their team win a game. That's, that's what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Pronger. Thank you very much. Don't forget the first telecast coming up on October 2nd at 7 o'clock p.m. It's the Flyers and the Carolina Hurricanes. You can watch the game on the Comcast Network in high definition. We've got to say thank you to all the members of the Flyers organization who helped make this day happen. Thanks to all of you as well, to our producer, Brian Cooper, to all the players. For Steve Coates and for Keith Jones, I'm Greg Murphy. Hope you enjoy 2009. Meeting the Flyers. Enjoy it, everybody.